I'll give you five easy ways to stop thinking. So you can experiment with these and see what works best for you. And why to stop thinking? It's not to not have any thoughts. The purpose is not to not have any thoughts. Thoughts are natural, thoughts are amazing, thoughts are tools. But if thoughts keep running your consciousness on automatic pilot all day long, without sufficient breaks, it's like never really surfacing to take a breath, to re-energize yourself, to recenter yourself. And just like with not taking a breath for two minutes, all you really need to feel that relief is just that one deep breath. <sighs> and everything feels all right again with the system, with you. And similarly, we just need a short moment of interrupting the flow of thoughts to see again, to be able to breathe again, to see into the presence consciousness that is here now. So one way is to stop thinking. That's it. <laughs> you just stop thinking. And this may not be as easy at first, but after a while, you just stop thinking. If, whenever you want to, just stop thinking. You just no longer project your awareness, your consciousness into thoughts. You just remain, you abide in a sense, as you are. Another way, second one that I'll mention today is to observe the thoughts that do arise and to see that to be focused on them is sort of a tension. You can start to be aware of the tension in the body that comes with the thoughts you're having. So you're aware of what is going on in your mental and physical body, the contraction, the tension, the, the thought stream. And by simply observing the fact that there is a tense thought stream happening, you relax your body and you relax your mind because seeing that you're causing yourself tension is for many people a very effective way to naturally let it go for a moment just because we're all relatively wise underneath the surface of our being. So when we recognize the stupidity of perpetuating a thought cycle that brings us nothing but tension about something that's not here right now, when we see the silliness of our thought stream by simply being aware of it, it's much easier to relax the body and the mind and to relax our focus away from the thinking mind for just a few seconds, that's enough. Third option is to focus a lot of your attention on the now, as much as you can. If you bring all your attention to this moment, it's impossible to think. The moment you think, you're not aware of, you're not focused on this moment itself. You're focused on a thought about something. Now, even if you're having a thought about this moment, that is still not clearly seeing the moment. So when we bring a lot of our attention, this is more of a, like a, almost a forceful way, like the mindful way, bringing your attention to something specific, which in this case is the now, this moment. So being focused on the now, the fuel, the resource that thinking needs, incessant thinking needs to perpetuate itself is all brought into a different focus. And so that resource is no longer available. The resource of your attention, of your unconscious attention is no longer available to the thought stream. And so you will notice a great sense of clarity as you focus a lot of attention on this moment. Not thinking about future, not thinking about past, but just being really aware of this moment here and now. The fourth and the fifth way are somewhat similar, but just slightly different angles of the same idea. The fourth would be to adopt the attitude in that moment, when you want to stop thinking for a moment, when you want to have a moment of clarity, of thoughtlessness, of just consciousness, without thought, is to be in the attitude of being completely uninterested in thoughts. Just be uninterested. Just realize that it has nothing to offer you for that moment. There's no reason you can think of that it would be beneficial for you, that would serve you to incessantly think for that moment. There's no reason. There's nothing in you that these thoughts can reach and appeal to you and can entertain you with. So be completely unentertained, uninterested. And if you are in the attitude of being, the feeling of being uninterested in thoughts, you start to sense more of a presence of a here and now consciousness and less of an unconscious thinking pattern. 
The fifth is sort of a more extreme, more immediate variation on that, and that is to simply ignore all thoughts, to turn your other cheek, to look the other way, to completely ignore. So you can sort of observe thoughts appearing somewhere. You can just allocate a certain space to them. Imagine, okay, well, my thoughts are over here. And then imagine, okay, what's over there? Where the thoughts are not possible. What is there where thoughts are not possible? Just ignore the realm of thought and turn your attention to where thoughts do not exist. Whatever that is. If that makes any sense. Just ignore thoughts. And then as you start to get the hang of that, of taking that two to five seconds moment of stopping your thinking process, or at least disengaging your interest and focus from it, because you'll start to see at some point that thoughts can just arise, it's fine, but you are centered at the same time, whenever you want to. You can center yourself whether you have many thoughts or no thoughts, but it's very helpful to also practice to not have any thoughts for even just a second or two. It's enough or even a second. In that one second, that's enough to take that one breath you need to revitalize your system. A whole day of unconsciousness is balanced out, is countered by just one or two seconds of thoughtless awareness of your existence beyond thought. And it's almost literally like you can't breathe again. Are you familiar with that sensation? It's like energetically you can breathe again. It's like, oh, I was not aware that I was holding myself underwater, under stress this whole time. But now that I am aware of this trust, stressful, relentless stream of unconscious thinking that serves me in no possible way, oh, I can relax and breathe again. And you start to feel more alive. You start to feel more here and now, more present, more awake, more lucid, more like this is all a dream and you are the consciousness that's dreaming it. So number one, just simply stop thinking. If you're confident enough, you can do that. Just stop thinking. And the other four methods are meant to build your confidence in the first method, basically. So that at some point it's just, ah, oh, yes, I remember I cannot think if I want to. You build enough memory of your experience of not thinking for just a few seconds is enough that you can just reinitiate that at will. Just, oh yeah, just whenever you think, I don't want to think for a moment, 